Yo, yo, welcome to my block. My name is Andre Webley, and this podcast is a documentation about my life, business, and fitness, as well as giving you all some healthy tips and tricks to help benefit you starting with your body and mind. You ready? Let's go. You all today, I have another special guest for you. If you want to introduce yourself. Oh, hi. My name is Andre Green. I am a painter, an artist. Uh, you want me to say more? You say anything you want. I live, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, live, I, I live in Springfield. I just opened a studio in Holyoke. I'm um, excited to be here. Um, I've known Dre for a while now. Mm-hmm. And actually, we just reconnected. Like this is the first time I'm seeing him. Well, virtually, yeah. in over maybe three years. Mm-hmm. So, you know, but I still follow his Instagram, and I love the growth that I see, and I'm happy to help out. Where yeah, if you guys don't know, um, like like he said, he's a he's an artist, but I've seen him grow over like the last three years. Where for me, it seemed like you were doing already great things. And then over like the last year, I've just seen like an explosion of the artwork and you just, it almost felt like from me seeing it is like you, you like fell into like your purpose. You know what I mean? Like in terms mm. of the drawing and getting it out there, it just, it, it mm-hmm, almost like mm-hmm. popped out. It was more, um, it was more there. It was more out there for me. It's like, wow. It's like, I know he did this, but this is mm-hmm. dope. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's just nice to mm-hmm. see, like you said, the growth and everything. Um, yeah. So, you know, how long have you been to the craft so the people can just, you know, get a well, I've, get an understanding? Huh. Well, I've almost been painting for 20 years. Uh-huh. Um, I'm dating myself, but I start, I've picked up my first paintbrush when I was 20, when uh-huh. I went to the Edna Malley College for the visual and performing arts. Up until then, the only thing I knew about was drawing. Mm-hmm. And I've ne- I never saw a painting in real life until I went to college in Jamaica, art mm-hmm. school. Um, so you can say, like, I was a late bloomer. And even later still, I still didn't believe that mm-hmm. it's something that, you know, I would do. I just always liked it and I just did it. Um, but as I say, yeah, I can definitely say after the birth of my son, mm-hmm it really put a fire under my butt. And you talk about purpose, that kind of, I think for any man, when you are not only in charge of your life, but then you, you suddenly are responsible for somebody else. Yeah. And you know, you know that it's not only providing, it's not only this, but it's also they have to actually see you be who you're supposed to be. Yeah. So, um, there's a philosopher that I listen to. He calls it design, and it it's it, it's 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 world end, and so the world shatters for you for you to like kind of recreate yourself, you know, almost like the phoenix. And coincidentally, that's why I joined CrossFit, mm-hmm. you know, so, and that's where we met. Ah, uh, yeah, so, yeah. Because because <laughs> I was I, I was always because I've been active all my life. I used to play basketball. I used mm-hmm. to do karate. And, you know, coming to the U.S., hustling and struggling, I just kind of gave up on fitness because I used to mm-hmm. be huge and then I worked myself down small and then getting married, you know, you just get complacent. But yeah. CrossFit, I was looking at it on Instagram and saying, oh, these mm-hmm. guys are doing all of these kind of cool stuff. Let me check it out. And like I met J- Jay, you know, that's an am- he's an amazing guy. Yeah, shout out to Jay, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Jay Assad, <laughs> you beautiful beast. He's still a beast. Yeah. He he's who you should have on your next podcast because he started his own business too. Mm-hmm. And he's like hitting the ground running and he's like doing Bitcoin and we're talking about Ethereum and all of that stuff. Yeah. All so right. going back to me, so it's 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 kind of like I saw the mentality in CrossFit and I realized mm-hmm. like I needed to have that. And then with my son, that kind everything kind of crystallized. And I was like, I don't mm-hmm. want him 
to grow up seeing his dad being less than. Mm -hmm. So that's what kicked it into gear for me. So it so that's, so that's almost like that's like four years. Yeah. And then just slowly decision after decision after decision. Mm -hmm. No, I need to do this, then I need to do that, I need to do it this way. You know, so yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And, uh just uh just a quick question. How do you, how much do you think your fitness impact impacted your health uh for you to do what you want to do for those like long periods of time? Yeah. Uh well. I love CrossFit because mm -hmm. everyone knows me. I have this moniker, uh, at least I used to post a lot about it, that mm -hmm. 5 a.m. grind, I'd get mm -hmm. up at five and do it. Um, so I love the mentality of CrossFit where when you, you don't know what's going to happen for the day, you don't know what the workout is going to be for the day. Mm -hmm. And I train myself never to look at the post in the, in the, in the nighttime, you know, because yeah. that might discourage me. So I want to always be just flexible but mm -hmm. ready to go and i love that mindset that um through methodical work because yeah i got to cross with catch now so they break down the exercises and you warm up for everything right mm -hmm. so it's not just jumping in but it's preparation and mm -hmm. specific preparation for the tasks at mm -hmm. hand and then you just give it your best a hundred sometimes a hundred percent sometimes you go 80 sometimes mm -hmm. you go you go 50, but you never go zero, mm -hmm. you know? So. Yeah, right. All right. So <laughs> my, um, the thing that I always say um, for just even my business in general and how I train myself is uh, I always say, do the things that you don't want to do, or I specialize mm -hmm. in the things that people hate doing and they don't want to do yeah. because yeah. those things are inherently going to make you better at everything else. You know what I mean? Yeah. In my life, and I'm pretty sure in your life, you've experienced some of those things that you don't want to do, but you did them. And it's like, okay, mm -hmm. you know, I'm doing this for a reason, even though it sucks. Mm -hmm. But at the end mm -hmm. of the day, when everything starts to fall together and form and actually you can see the, the bigger picture, it's like, okay, I'm not doing this mm -hmm. for no reason, even though it sucks. But it ends up at the end of the day that I have some, some sort of payoff that is worth all yeah. the struggling yeah. and yeah. whether it's being tired and the heartache and everything like that, you know, it's, it's nice, you know? So, um, yeah, it, it, it gives you the sense of accomplishment that mm -hmm. I, and especially I'll go back to CrossFit, you know, working out at 5 a.m. And that workout always leaves me on the floor. Mm -hmm. Um, and most of the time I know that I'll never do anything as hard as I just did. Yeah. So it gives it, it gives you that amount of accomplishment mm -hmm. just the first hour for our first two hours in a day. So yeah, and it, you know, all the endorphins fly and you like feel supercharged. So I yeah, I love it. I love the mentality about it the most. Yeah. Um, how it sets your mind up to like win and and challenge yourself, you know. So yeah, it's for me when uh is uh just to hit on what you said, um uh, it's like you shouldn't allow anything to stress you out as much as you stressed yourself out. So like you said, you get up at 5 a.m. And like now with within two hours, you're exhausted. You know what I mean? You put your body under these high demands and now you're like, yeah. okay, that was tough. Yeah. So when I go out to the real world, I literally put myself through hell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else outside of this. You know what I just did that should be mentally draining. That should be physically draining. Cause I literally just put myself through yep. the ringer mm -hmm. you know yep. so yeah I, I love yep. the mentality too i haven't done crossfit in years but i um i do it like on the side like i bought like uh, yeah some equipment and everything like that i still train the same way and um yeah i love it you yeah know but I, mean? I i loved how you used to like kill the workouts and i was like one day i'm going to be and i'm not even halfway close to there <laughs> yet because like i'm i'm coming i'm nursing from an injury i think mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's it's no fault of anybody's. I was just yeah. like overtired. I was just mm -hmm. overtired. And that's one thing I need to work on, sleep. I need to sleep more. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know, no, I'm just healing. I'm just going, you know, but it's good. You know, I'm I'm like in my 40s and I feel like, and I feel good. Yeah, it's really, I feel like a spring chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and not close yet, not close yet, but you know. Yeah. I still have that that pep in one step, you know. I yeah. feel like it doesn't feel like you're slowing yeah. down. It's just you know you feel strong, you no. feel able. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the thing is, my 
that later on I'll show you the paintings. Mm -hmm. And some of the paintings I do are like 10 feet. Mm -hmm. You know, and ex especially when I go outdoors and the mural work, mm -hmm. that crossfit, that fitness, it just gives you that extra thing. You know, you, you, you can just go, you mm -hmm. know. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to show me them today, but um, at some point, <laughs> yeah, just take take like a video and everything like that, and I'll stick it into this. Uh, you can, into this you can yeah, it, yeah, yeah, you, you know? can scrap one from a, from my Instagram. Scrap yeah. anything from my Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I got you. Just um, I'll do some verification stuff, and I'll let you know which ones that I like or which ones that you yeah. personally want to put up there, and I'll throw them right into here yeah. so people can actually see. I approve you know, every video on my Instagram. <laughs> All right, awesome, 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 awesome. So, um, talk about some of the some of the hurdles that you've had in the beginning of your process, like um, when you first started, uh, like whether it's like doubts of you wanted to do this. I know you talked about like uh, in your twenties when you started, because late bloomer and everything like that. You might have seen people who are younger than you doing things that you just now doing, or you might have seen people older than you that are blowing things out of the water um mm -hmm. but like how how did you like overcome some of those struggles and um you know mm. talk about it a little bit uh, well um as yeah whether as, it's like a support think, system or if it's yeah like, as, no as as i was thinking of this is something i think about all the time mm -hmm. um i think the, the thing that makes my work different mm -hmm. um from another like person that that is like a realist painter because what i do is like real realist painting so i can paint things to make them look like how they look um yeah. so most people like that just give you a scene and it is what it is in my work nothing ever is really what it is mm -hmm. you know and i think that's parts and parcel because of the struggle that i had uh, my dad, when I was growing up, he never saw value in me doing art, right? Mm -hmm. So every time I was drawing, he'd take the drawing stuff away from me, put mm -hmm. it away, and give me a book. So I was reading, but my mom would find it and give it back. So mm -hmm. for me to validate the art, it took a long time. It's something that I wanted to do, but then also to what happened to it was because I was forced to read so much. Mm -hmm. um, it gave me that intellectual curiosity. Like I don't, I love to draw and paint, but I don't just draw and paint. Yeah. It has to have a purpose and a meaning behind it. And then that kind of crystallized in the kind of art school that I went to, because it was very abstract, very like modern, right? And then so I was learning that whatever I do had to have a purpose. Um, so, so for me, all of those struggles, they kind of help to kind of fashion the, the, the artist that I am, but then also to, I do struggle with like doubt. Am I, re am I doing it right? Can I, mm -hmm. you know, I, 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 I'm just no, I'm just, I'm in America. I'm just no, <laughs> no, cause it's, it's real. Cause like you're 43 and you're looking at your life and like, yeah. is cause I, and I just left a full-time job to do this full-time. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a lot of leaps of faith. You know, it's like you're 42. You just you just left a full time job to do this crazy thing. Mm -hmm. da, 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 you know, but I realize like if it's your purpose, if if this is what you're supposed to do, you know, it it will work out. It it yeah. it won't probably work out how you picture it in your head. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know it. It will be something beautiful and and i'm happy that that what i'm doing so far is is something that can can draw inspiration mm -hmm. to people and i think that's that's what i really want how long ago I, did you leave your job by the way um in in june this june, june? Mm -hmm. yeah 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 yeah. Well, congratulations you <laughs> congratulations <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 I'm as teaching as as a art, high school art teacher. I think my second my second post mm -hmm. my, my post talked about like this mural I just finished. It was at that school that I was working for seven years. Um, practically, you know, they they, they kind of took me and they were very kind to me mm -hmm. for somebody that you know just came to the U.S. You know, didn't know anybody. 
And, you know, and they really like took care of me and stuff. And I owe them a lot and I appreciate them. My boss, Neil Gay and um, Nora, they're like fabulous people and they're supportive, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, the Academy at Charlemont, you know, I'm big ups. Yeah, for real, man. Nice. That's, yeah. that's nice. It's always yeah. um good to have like a foundation. You know what I mean? That's I'd say that's been one of my struggles that I've had is like I've always been the kind mm -hmm. of person that gets to do stuff myself. But I've also mm -hmm. I've also learned that I needed certain boost from other areas, whether it's like getting the job for a time being. And, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean, it's just like because it's hard doing it by yourself. But then yeah. when you start to understand, you know, how the game actually works, it becomes a lot easier to accept some of those things. Like I was speaking to you off camera um, or not when we weren't recording it about like me going to get a job. And I'm just like, mm -hmm. uh, I had to call one of my buddies and just have this conversation about you know, should I do this for the time being for the short run so I could get my feet underneath me again? And, yeah. uh, you know, I can sharpen some of my other skills. It's not like I'm not going to mm -hmm. be doing personal training. It's literally, I'm just personal training for somebody else instead of for myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's not like it's a big difference and they're paying me. So if I get that done, then there should be no reason why after I'm done learning and absorbing, I can go on my own and continue yeah. doing what I'm doing. It's not like, it's not like I still can't pay for my business, you know, if, yeah, if yeah, I do yeah, go and get yeah. the job for that, you know what I mean? But I just yeah, can't yeah. do personal training myself. But there's mm -hmm. other avenues that I've always wanted to explore, like such as what I'm doing with you right now in terms of talking, mm -hmm. bringing other entrepreneurs together and, just yeah, and creating this creating this group of people who could help each other, you know? Yeah, I'm I'm excited to do, to do that with you, you know, mm -hmm. if you want. Um but I was going to jump on to something that you were saying. Um, a lot of times why people stop is because just like you, when they come to a fork in the road, mm -hmm. they're like, oh, so this means I failed. No, it could just be a, like a curve that, that yeah. the road is still going here, but to go there, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of people stop there and just like give up. Um, but that's that's when that's when it it really has to be something really deep down in your soul that you yeah. know you're supposed to do you know i i know i'm supposed to create images to yeah. bring light to the world you know i am supposed to it seems piffy and it seems stupid and cliche but nah nah that, not i make, no. not, but yeah go ahead not make <laughs> the world a better place but at the same mm. time create stuff that can feed your soul you know, yeah. um, and and kind of tickle the mind. I, I I look for that every day. That's that's what I, mm. you know, that's why I go to museums. That's why I love love to look mm. at art. You know, because so so much of pop culture is inundated with trash. It's like mm -hmm. junk food. You know, um, I and if you fool your soul with trash, you'll just be trash. You know, yeah. and that's why there's so many trashy people here. Mm. You know, but I feel like you know just to go counter all of that. Yeah. yeah, no, I, I I agree with you 100. Um, percent Just even um, bringing what you feel in your heart out for people to see it is mm -hmm. the reason why I got into what I do now. It's the reason why I started being a personal trainer. It's the reason why I opened up a business is because I want to be able to give that <laughs> to people. And like you said, yeah, it may sound cheesy and cliche, but mm -hmm. it's it's something that I love doing. Like when I wake up and I do this, it doesn't feel like I'm at a job. You know what I mean? Yeah. It feels like I'm like fulfilling a purpose that I yeah. know that the world needs. It's just like as men or people in general, but I typically talk to men about this kind of thing. It's like, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Go out there and put your stamp on the world. Like, hey, mm -hmm. I help society go forward. You know what I mean? Yeah. I help somebody that that had a problem um, solve their issue and then help them want to go help other people. You know what I mean? You never know. Whoever sees your um, sees your murals and sees your opinions, sees your Instagram, they can be like, you know, I've always had doubts about myself, but I've seen this guy and I've seen his story, and I'm just gonna go full for it. You know what I mean? And that happened to me. Yeah. It was about like, it was like 2000 and 2013. I was working at um, I was working at a restaurant, and I was listening to this mm -hmm. podcast, and this guy was like, yo, sometimes he's got. I was listening to a fitness podcast. He goes, sometimes you just got to take a leap of faith. You know what I mean? It's like, if this is something that you really want to do and you like, you feel it and like, you know, in your soul that this is it and you, everything you do is like, you, you, you wake up, you read, you breathe, you eat this, 
go and do mm-hmm. it. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. you're never going to be satisfied doing something else. And that day, I literally just quit my mm-hmm. job. I called my manager over. It was my manager was actually Jocelyn. Do you? Do you? I don't know if you remember Jocelyn. No, I don't. I don't think Jocelyn went to our gym. Um, but that uh, name sounds familiar, though. I feel like she- that name sounds familiar. That name sounds familiar. I don't know why it sounds familiar. Um, but yeah, it sounds yeah. familiar, connected yeah. to gym stuff. So maybe. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I told I called her over and I was like, yeah, I quit. <laughs> and like, literally, it, was, it was probably like an hour into my shift and like four o'clock in the afternoon. So people were getting ready to come in. I was like, I quit. I wow. You know, I got, I, I went that day yeah. and, or that night I overdrafted my account, which probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, but I went yeah. and bought my certification or the stuff that I need for my certification mm-hmm. and um, murder she wrote from there on. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. For I, me, I it was. Yeah, for me, it had to be a little bit more deliberate because I had mm-hmm. a wife and I have two kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you, can't just, you can't do that. <laughs> I didn't have kids or anything like that, so. <laughs> yeah. No. But stuff but, started to fall into place so that I can, like, step away from it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So. Yeah, I know, I know we're starting to run short on time, but um, I guess I got a couple more questions. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, go of, for it. In terms of... Um, future goals you know what do you have planned for andre within like the next two or three years you know what are the things that you want to that you want to start where the things you want to finish and you know what are the things you want to help other people with well um eventually i want to start like um i wouldn't say a school per se but a, Uh a breeding ground for like really conscious caring artists to, to, to kind of mentor them, foster them. Mm-hmm. Um, because like so much of art right now is used to tear down society, mm-hmm. right? Um, I want people to ask questions, to poke holes at stuff, um, but at the same time to do it, to build up. And especially um, black kids to have something. And I'm working with um, another program too, um, Hilltown Youth right now, I did a residency with them for two days in the summer and working on a larger project where I should be mentoring um, a prospective artist. Um, but that, in the future, I want, I want a structure to, kind, to build a structure where I can have kids fed into it. And I know like these will be the next generation, you know, and yeah, cause I love, I wouldn't say I love teaching art. I love, I love inspiring people with art though, yeah. you know? So it, it's more mentoring that I like, you know, like mm. the one-on-one deep dive, you know, figuring out what the process is, what they like, what gets, get, get in the person's head to mm. see if we can go further. You know, it's like, almost like a personal trainer, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah literally uh, just, <laughs> and, and it's funny that you say that because when I do personal training, it's not like it's ex- like exercising all the time. It's more like, all right, mm-hmm. how can I get you to break the wall of wanting yep. to eat healthier or what are those things that trigger you that that make you go on a, a binge on the weekend or what are yeah, some of the yeah, triggers yeah, that yeah. are that are keeping you away from wanting yeah. to be healthy? You know, for me, yeah. Um, when I get angry, I'm just like, man, I don't want to do anything. Like, I just want to go work out. Yeah. But sometimes I'll go work myself into the ground. And then like, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to have a couple of beers. And then a couple yeah. of beers turn into more beers over the weekend. And I'm just like, okay, yeah, 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 I, like yeah. now I want to eat. So it's, <laughs> it's like, um, yeah, that's a cycle. I, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you start to, you start to peel back those layers. You start to understand mm. yourself. Like, Hey, like what, what makes you tick and what makes you, do this i read a book called the big leap it's about um essentially self-sabotage and i read the book and it was it was phenomenal because i start to put together why people start to do certain things and why i started mm-hmm. to do certain things where mm-hmm. it's like um like i said like uh what's his name christian bale dude who did that man every time that he started in a big role or um did something very successful right mm-hmm. after that it would be like a huge car crash or he'll be Caught yeah. drunk fighting or mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm, like he'll mm-hmm. find a way to sabotage himself because he doesn't want to feel bad about the success he had 
um, mm-hmm. because of the people around him are not as successful as he is. Mm-hmm. So yeah, because uh, it feels like he doesn't deserve it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I've that's one thing that I've gone through as well is just like because I've always want I've always talked to my friends about hey like we need to be able to build each other up and get to this place. But also I felt like they won't do it unless they have like a leader. And I was like I I don't want to be the leader, but I. I feel like I know I have to be the leader <laughs> because they don't want to do it. You know what I mean? It's almost like they have yeah. to see it before they believe it. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm standing here and I'm telling you, I see it because I see other people doing it. Yeah. And I believe it. Yeah. So yeah. you should believe yeah. it because I'm literally, yeah. I'm preaching, I'm preaching to you about it. And they're like, ah, mm-hmm. you know, maybe, yeah. uh, you know, you, they'll give me like advice on things that I'm doing. And I'm just like, why don't you just come and join me instead of giving me advice and, you know, yeah. Help me build a brand. Yeah. Help me, you know, with the, yeah. the videography. Help me with just like certain things that you think that are awesome. Instead of just giving me advice, because you give me advice is almost like beating a dead horse. Like I only could do so much by yeah. myself, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, in that instance, like mm-hmm. team having a team, I'm so grateful for my wife. Because yeah. like behind the scenes, you don't know how much she does. She's and she's another, she's another accomplished artist as well. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to Priya. Shout um, out to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she helps, she helped me with a lot of stuff, you know, early on coming to the US, getting me mm-hmm. here. You know, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. So um no man is an island no man stands alone but at the same time you have to choose the company you know you have to you have to because i figure out you have uh, this 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 whole game that we're in is in stages and Mm -hmm. if you're not where you want to be yet you always need to be looking for people that are advanced Mm -hmm. um because i think if you try to turn back too much I like, oh, come, 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 come. Yeah. And don't go ahead. You'll you'll just be spinning your wheels. So mm-hmm. yeah, so it's it's some yeah, so that that's why the mentoring thing, I, just like you, you know, it's a natural thing, especially mm-hmm. for black black boys. I want to see them succeed, you know. Um, I have a passion for that. Um, but at the same time, I have to put myself in a place, you know. Yeah. And then I have to make sure that I am in a position, you know, not to just of help. encouragement, but actual yeah. power, you know? Yeah. And then so, yeah, because it's, it's funny. People are fickle at the same time. You know, <laughs> um, a lot of people say they want it, but it's only those that actually go after it will get it, you know? Yeah. So. You might want to encourage the world, but like Jesus just did it with 12. Yeah. You know, he had like thousands and thousands of people, but only 12. And out of the 12, only really three were mm. around him. And out of the three, it's only one he said he loved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, yo, it's, it's crazy. You know, it's, it's, it's yeah, out so- of this world, out of this world on how many people you would try to influence. And it's like only like one percent, ten percent of those people would actually stick to what they really want, and for me, that's what yeah. I'm in it for. You know what I mean? I'm in, for, I'm in it for that one person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, that that would actually be like, you know, he actually changed my life. So now I'm gonna go do my best to change my life yeah. in the aspect that I need to yeah. go into. You know what I mean? Like, let me fall into yeah. my covenant. You know what I mean? And let me do what I need to do so mm-hmm. I can go help mm-hmm. somebody else, whether it's even if it's like plumbing, you know what I mean? Like, even if it's like uh yard work or uh you want to build skyscrapers or you want to like build poles or whatever the case may be, it's just like, yo, I have, you know what I mean? You know how many people I know stay up until like 2, 3 a.m.? Like, or if you've seen the meme of those guys, um, it'll be like somebody in bed laying down with their phone and they'll be watching a YouTube video of those guys making like clay pools and everything like that. It was just mm-hmm. like, I'm pretty sure those guys inspired somebody to do it. I they was just doing that because yeah, that's what they do, you know what I mean? And yeah. people were just like, yeah. Oh my god, this is amazing, you know what I mean? So being able just to do things and um and actually love doing them and doing them because you want to do them is an awesome yeah. power yeah. to have, you know what I mean? It's so influential yeah. to do the things you love doing. Mm. I mean, what else is there in life? Um 
Kevin Samuel says, like, you know, what's in life? Mm -hmm. It's just people. It's just people. Mm -hmm. um, so, and, and I really took that to heart because, like, it's not money. It's not, it's just people. You're just dealing with people, you know? Um, yeah, so, yeah, so that, that's it for me, like, helping another, the other generation. I'm really interested in, you know, making a better world selfishly mm. for my son you yeah. know <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to leave it a better place um but yeah but well, i, I know like, all do things selfish decision too yeah yeah that's the thing mm. you cannot they have to make the decisions themselves too yeah. you know yeah and i found myself wanted to help more people that didn't want to help well i found myself wanting to help people who didn't want the best for themselves or I found yes. myself like kind of dragging people along. And like I've I've even experienced this with like some family members because everybody's like, oh man, want to get in shape, you know, hit Andre up this yeah. and the other. I'm just like, I mean, do you really want to do it? Like, because the yeah. people who really pay me to do this, even sometimes they don't want to do it, but they know what they're working yep. for, you know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> and you're and you're getting it for free. And I'm just like, yeah. You know, some people don't budge unless there's like some kind of investment behind it, like what's in it for me. Um, yeah, that's kind of thing. That's another thing too that I realize in life. Um, you'll take care of something if you have to pay for it. It's yep. just like when I give my son a toy, mm -hmm. he's, he doesn't have to buy it. He doesn't have to like, mm -hmm. you know, he's not, he's not like, he's just like, he just gets it, you know? So he's just like, oh, huh, oh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> uh, yeah. And he's like fascinated with it at the time yeah but you know but yeah so i mean <laughs> yeah and that, that is the thing with life because like you can't ever measure it to be like oh i invested so much in this person they should be here you know because yeah. at the end of the day and that's that's one thing that teaching made me realize like it's still up to them you're just yeah. a tool you just if they want to access it they can you know so it made me distance myself from it so like as as teaching for like full time for seven years so yeah. high school so i totally get it <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah yep um and it's just sometimes it's disappointing but like once you start to understand that portion of your life and that portion of your business and uh what you're able to give and what you're able to receive it I, I believe life becomes a lot easier you put less stress on yourself it's not like you don't mm -hmm. care about um what you do is just like i can't i can't sit here and care about everybody because not everybody cares about me you know or even cares about what i do yeah you know? or, or or not even that or even cares about themselves yeah you know yeah it's everybody. hard to convince somebody who don't care about themselves to yeah. care about anything else yeah 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 yeah, because like I'll say on my weight loss journey, as as mm -hmm. as up to my highest weight was heaviest was 245. Now I'm down to maybe 28. Mm -hmm. But I still miss my goal because I want it to be like 180 by December by December 31st, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm still going to grind it out, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's 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 like that. Yeah, man, congratulations <laughs> on the weight loss because I know how hard it is to lose weight. And even just Your to be like, food, seeing, seeing the food that you post mm -hmm. inspires me. I was like, I should get this dude to be my personal chef. When I get my <laughs> stock up, when I get this guy to be my personal chef. Oh, man. I'll be around. Don't worry. I'll be around. <laughs> <laughs> that could be another another compliment, too. You know, you just make yeah. meals. <laughs> no, no. I And like, so uh, back to like me not being able to personal train if when I get this job, if I get the job, it's just like, I'm still like a very well-versed cook. You know what I mean? So it's just like, it's not like I have to train people up. I, the way I've gotten to most people is just like, they see my food and they're like, man, yeah. I want to have that. I'm just like, well, like I have this because like I worked my behind off in order to, you know, yeah, not only eat this, but to be able to enjoy it without like a guilty yeah. mind or guilty conscience like yeah. i posted yeah. like mac and cheese and people are like oh my god this is excellent i'm just like yeah i know but like you guys don't know i gained like five pounds for me in that whole pan you know what i mean it's just like <laughs> but i did it i did it without a guilty, a guilty conscience because i know like i go to the gym you know five six times a week and yeah. there's no problem for me to go yeah. exercise because i love exercising yeah. um 
and I like eating, you know what I mean? So it's just like one compliments mm-hmm. the other. Not only do I have a chance to have delicious food, I know how to cook it in a way that's not going to, that could uh, mm-hmm. eliminate some of those calories or minimize some of those calories where it's like, mm-hmm. I'm not eating as much as, I'm not eating Thanksgiving every day. You know what I mean? It's, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, it's not like Greek mm-hmm. food. It's not like super yeah. fat and unhealthy all the time. It's just like, I, I show people how to have healthy foods, delicious foods, desserts, healthy foods you know what i mean just showing people how to rotate those things yeah. and understand like life is just not it's not a board game you know what i mean like you just can't move around and not expect things not to happen um mm-hmm. but it's more like um it's more like a bicycle man like you're gonna spin hmm. these wheels and don't don't try to reinvent the wheel do what works you know what i mean people showing you how to if your teacher showed you how to do something and you're like, no, I'm going to do mm-hmm. it a different way. And you mess it up. It's just like, why did you even try to, I understand you're trying to reinvent the wheel, but why reinvent the wheel when I've shown you how to make the wheel already? All you have to do is just add some spokes to it. Add mm-hmm. like some, mm-hmm. add some little designs mm-hmm. inside of it. And then it's yours. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. Life, life is a lot simpler mm-hmm. than uh, people make it. I think we all try to, Yeah, we're all, we're not special. Not all of, none of us here are special. We all had to work to in order to get to the place that we want to. Even like Bill Gates, even like the richest people on earth, they had to work mm-hmm. to get to where they want to uh where they want to get to. None of us here are special, but what what is special about us is our worth ethic, where it's like, how much do you really want to learn? You know what I mean? How far do you mm-hmm. really want to push yourself? That's the only thing special about us is how much do we want something? But other than that, mm-hmm. like that's it <laughs> if you don't want nothing or if you don't want to learn if you don't want to push yourself forward then you know that's it you're not enough it's special like i said it's just i like we, that we choose yeah I we like choose that. we choose what we want you know what i mean yeah. like yeah you can, you can look at kids i, you know I, I, mean? I agree i totally yeah. agree so but i know you're gonna run um if you want to plug yeah. in your instagram go for it give yourself a shout out yeah, if you got so any kind of projects I, that you want to talk about let's do it yeah, so um, I'm working with this art company and I just released my first NFT. I posted, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> I post, yeah, and it's at Art Basel, Miami. Can you, mm-hmm. can you believe that? Yeah, so um, I also have a show going up, a group show that I'm in growing up in LA. It's mm-hmm. in LA right now. And um, I think two of my paintings are at William Basic Gallery in Northampton. So mm-hmm. stuff is stuff is happening and um wait, there's more stuff happening. I just can't. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't worry about it, man. As long as, as long as you're moving yeah. forward and you're having success, but I mean, you can always talk yeah. about that later. But um yeah, 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 yeah. But my Instagram is Andre Green Studios, A-N-D-R-A-E, G-R-E-E-N-S-T-U-D-I-O. And I'll plug it at the bottom for you all so you guys can understand and get it yeah. there so you don't misspell it and have to rewatch the video yeah. five times. My name is funny, yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's like my name, but with an A or an, an E. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. But uh, it was nice talking with you, man. Um, Dude, hopefully, let's keep in touch. I want yeah. to like be on that project with you mm-hmm. if you would have me. I don't know. I definitely, I I definitely will. Um, I will be starting it very soon within like the next week or so. Um, even just like the people that I've interviewed, um, because the people I'm interviewing are all entrepreneurs or work people or people who want to be. If you need a space to meet, you can, we Mm -hmm. can meet here too. Oh, dude, I live in Florida, man. I live in Florida now. Oh, wait, you moved to Florida? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) But, um, I do, I do plan on coming back up to Massachusetts at some point in time. But um, the whole thing I want to do is just bring people from all around the, the nation. You know what I yeah, mean? Well, people, we'll meet on you know? Skype, Zoom, mm-hmm. wherever. I don't care. No, but it'll be World nice because I, yeah, I also want to have like a center place. And I, I love I still love Springfield, Massachusetts. You know what I mean? So if it's something where mm-hmm. we could get there together and then people just come fly in and whatever the case may be. I still love to yeah. host a big event at some point. And that's always been one of yeah. my goals. So um, yeah. I'll definitely keep that in mind. I'll, uh, I'll probably come up to visit within like the next three or four months. Let me just work a couple of things out here. And then yeah, you know hit me mean? up, we man. Pop it. I'm here. Yeah, I definitely will. Yeah. yeah. Andre, it was nice having you. Have a Andre, it was day. nice being high. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. So Bye, I, would, I would catch you later, brother, man. Peace. That's the end of the podcast. 
thank you all for stopping by and listening. Please leave me a like or a dislike. And if you do like the content that I'm actually putting out, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you can stay up to date with the latest content that I'm bringing to you all. If nobody's told you this within the last week, 48 hours, or day, I'm going to let you know right now. I love you. Be safe, great, and amazing. I'll catch you all later. Peace.